Hello everyone, it's Inspired by Inspire here. Uh, today I would like to show you guys on how to make a vase or vase on a 3D sketch on the Cubify Invent software. It was kind of a difficult thing for me to start with uh, to build because I don't know, I guess I wasn't informed enough or didn't know exactly how this whole thing worked, but uh, after fiddling around and some help, I was able to figure this out. So, uh, first things first, you go select the plane, activate sketch, 2D sketch. Uh, I'm going to do a polygon. This is just in inner diameter and outer diameter. That's what the differences are. I'll just leave it at that. Six edge polygon. I already have one made which is around 70 millimeters. It's good for a pencil case or a piggy bank. Apply, close, and then in this case we want like we want to use the same sketch again, so we want to select this and we want to copy the whole thing. Now, we're good here, activate. Now notice how it's not showing up. It can, it can be very difficult to, to work with if it's not um, visible. It's there, the sketch, but it's just not visible. You can't see it. And for a number of reasons, you need to be able to see your sketch. So you go to View and Measure, and under the Viewing option, there's this right here. What do they call it? The Toggle Sketches. You click that now it's visible and it's going to remain that way uh, throughout the whole project which is really good okay so let's go back to the drawing now we've only got one plane here so we're going to select a plane and we're going to add a plane I'm going to add a plane at I'll say 30 millimeters so we've got a plane right here now select that and activate 2D sketch. There we go. Okay. Right click and paste the one that we had there before. Now, uh, now we want to twist it. In order to do that, you go to move under the sketch tools, you go to move. Uh, the down arrow and click on rotate. Now, under uh, beside the figure, it wants to know what are we rotating. So you select the whole thing, and then where is the center to rotate around? Right here, right on the middle. And the angle, well, let's just move up. I'll rotate it 30 degrees. I'm going to talk to you about uh, how to get a full twist motion or to get a zigzag motion later. So 30 degrees and apply and close. All right, we're good here. So we're going to deactivate sketch, select the top plane, add another plane at another 30 millimeters or whatever uh, size length you want. Okay. Select, activate, and do it all over again. Paste. Now this one is opposite again, right? So we can just leave it as is. So activate and select plane. We'll do another 30 and then we'll move on to making this whole thing a solid piece. Select, activate 2D and paste. Now we have to rotate this one again. Select the whole thing. <clears throat> Center is right here. And we're going to drive it up to 30 degrees. And apply. Close. Alright. Uh, deactivate sketch. Looks good. Make sure you have everything deselected because for the next option it's important. So, we want to make this make these sketches fit together so you go to loft 
and you start selecting from bottom to top or from top to bottom. If you start, if you just do a random select, it will actually work that way. Like it'll, if you select the middle one first, it'll jump from here to the next one you select to the next one you select to the next one you select. So they have to be in order, selected in order. Two, three, and four. As you can tell, there are a number of different things you can do with this here. Let's see what happens if we do this. <clears throat> Hit OK. Check that out. Very cool. So, uh, you go to, if you want to change some things up, like this has a rounding motion here and then a quick edge motion which is looks really cool you can right click here and edit now the ones you select those are the ones that do the edge motion the the non curve so they have a a quick jump from here to there a straight jump right like let's select all of them now it's going to have a zigzag back and forth Notice how it doesn't twist all the way around. Like you, if you want a full twist, I'll show you what we need to do in order for that to happen. This is very cool, and then you can select, you know, rounded to edged. You know, you select the ones you want. Um, let's add it one more time. I'll deselect these to keep the rounded edge for now. You can minimize twist, uh, curvature, simplify surface, connect ends and uh, guide guide curves there's a different a couple of different methods of of shapes that it has here for you uh, some really cool options so let's just keep it at this and say okay so now we've got some rounded curves but you want a twist motion right so what we have to do is let's we've got this sketch I'm fine with that one let's go here select it now, what happens is, if, like, you noticed how we had the 30-degree turn from one to the other. It was uh, the distance from this point to the next point and from this point to this point, they were exactly the same. So the program doesn't know exactly what you want. It just jumps back and forth because they are, um, the measurements are identical from here to here and from here to here so they're exactly the same so what we have to do is offset it a little bit rotate so go to rotate let's select the whole thing the whole thing there we go center is here oops center now just hop it off by one degree see one degree that's all we need apply so now it's shorter from here to here uh, activate okay now we're going to do the this one also select now remember we did one degree over there so we have to pass that so now we have to do two degrees over here select the whole thing center and one oops I did the opposite one two Okay, close, deactivate, check it out, it's starting to take its motion, or shape, so I like making them like this because, uh, you know, it just drives this way and all of a sudden it curves that way, but if you just want a full twisted motion, you can definitely do that, select, rotate, now we have to do center now we have to do three one two three okay just make sure it's one degree closer to one side and if you want a complete twist motion it has to be a one degree twist motion to the same side and okay there we go there we have a full twist and you know if you go back to view get rid of the sketches if you want you can get rid of the uh, planes if you want. Wait. Oh, sorry, not that one. This one. Just to get a good look at what you got here. You can hollow it out. Select the top. Shell. 
how thick do you want it? I like three millimeters is a very good uh, thickness. Okay, and there you have it. Got yourself a nice little vase or a pencil holder. Yeah, um, I've got another one made that was a lot more detailed, a lot more stuff to it. Right here, I will deselect that. Oop. Loft. Notice how these are bigger. Some of them. I'll show you how I did that. Okay. A little bit more work to it, so it takes a little longer. There you have it. I'm just going to take this out. Look at that. It's real edgy. Actually, it doesn't look as good as the last one I did. Um, just go to edit. Okay. There. That's better. That's really good. Notice how it bulges outward and comes back in. It's a cool little feature you can do on the vase. Um, how you do that is, let's go here. Let's put the planes back so I can see where they are. Now, let's select this one. <coughs> Double click. That's the offset motion you want to use, the option. Offset and select the whole thing. We want to offset it. See, so it kind of already does a 2.4 millimeter offset. Okay, the only problem I have here is I have to take out, it doesn't replace, it just makes it bigger uh, in offset. And I know why they do that, because when you're making a sketch and you want it to be a certain thickness, you can use both sides. The, the original part you made plus the one you offset. Um, haven't figured out if they have an option to turn that off. In this case that'd be nice. Okay. Activate. Immediately it kind of knows what you want, so it's a little fatter here. Can't really tell, but once you do a number of them and you make it bigger and very small, like a big difference, uh, that's where it comes in. So that's how you bulge it outward by using the offset option. Rather than redrawing the whole thing, it's a very cool feature. You can offset it uh, all the way around bigger, or you can actually um, move it to the side a little bit so that it actually bows or bends a little bit the whole thing <clears throat> but anyways here we have the vase at a twist motion you could do zigzag motion as, as I showed you uh, that's it I think it's very cool um, I printed a couple of these they work out very well I've got a pencil case and some other stuff. Anyways, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.